This is Father Moonstock on Animal Crossing City Folk Way. It's about time I told you all about it. So, here we go. The Animal Crossing Review. There's plenty of stuff to do here. When you begin in, when you begin the game, you have your town map. Though, if you haven't had your town, it will probably look different to this. Right, um, so you get all of these little sections, your inventory, your place to store post, bugs and fish bug, designs, this time you can have the me mask, you can take pictures and save them onto the SD card, you can add people, You can type stuff again. <laughs> By the way, um, I haven't plugged in my USB keyboard, so I'll just talk as it's a review. Right, this game is actually endless until you um, until you get bored of it, basically. So you can do a load of stuff. I'll just get my items out here for you. You can get lots of tools. You can get golden tools like in the DS version. And you can get silver tools this time. So we've got the slingshot again. We've got the shovel. Um, what else have we got? We've got silver shovel. Uh, we've got the net. We've got the fishing rod. We've got the axe and the watering can, and also the timer, but I haven't, I think that's in my wardrobe. Also, you can get other strange items, like this that I got, red lightsaber. It's basically an axe. There are, there's red and blue lightsaber, there are about four guitar axes, I think, there's a pencil, and there's this ninja sword. All of their matches access, and I don't think they're going to be in your catalogue, so um, yeah, that's the same with other items. Um, now, good thing about this time is that instead of four rooms, I mean four beds in one house, uh, you get four houses. And also, um, in each house, um, in the DS version, you had a s big front floor, second floor, left room, right room, and back room. But in this one, you've got first floor, you've got the second floor, and just like the DS version, you've got the attic, and you've also got the basement. That might be, not be as many rooms as it was before, but um, I think that it's, yes, there's more rooms in this version than uh, the other. Okay, um, what else have you got? You've got all your, um, all the people you met last time on here. I think you can get the Invisible Cat on some versions of this. I haven't seen it before. Um, not sure if Gulliver comes back though. But you get those um, animals following you, asking for help. You also have your four emotions, your save button, and your clock with the date and time. Also this time, instead of taking a taxi here, you take the bus. I'll just take the bus for you and I'll show you what kind of shops there are. Because um, you can take the bus to the city now. And um, you see shops. And most of the shops, some of the shops are new, but most of them are from people who uh, used to visit your town in the DS version. Mm-hmm.
Yeah, so Captain's bu bus driver now. So you have to see him. If you want to go to the city, you have to see him more than um, once now. He can get kind of annoying because he keeps on chatting every journey gone. Right, in the city. I've already shown you this, but I'm going to show you again. You have about two or three animals when it's really late or really early, about four or five when it's right time. And they're not people from your town, they're people from other, like people who aren't in your town at the moment. So, Crazy Red and Mr. Tent, he used to come and visit you. Um, Niall talked about when you wanted to uh, visit a date for him to visit. But now, Crazy Red has his own place here. If you want to um, visit the shops, then, um, if you want to see what's inside the shops, then um, please look on my other video. Right, we have. You remember Dr. Shrunk and your emotions? Now he's got his own theatre where you can get the emotions from. You've got a bank in the city and you can get banks in your houses. There's still a bank in the town hall. Remember Lyle, the very annoying otter that kept following you, well, waited outside your house, kept following you until you answered him. He's got his own Happy Room Academy here. Gracie Grace, you know the giraffe with the car and the tyre? Uh, well, she's got her own store here now. Most of her stuff is expensive. In here, you, this shop is the auction house. You visit Lloyd and um, you do some bidding for items. On these steps, you meet Kicks and he shines your shoes. I like my own bread, so I'm not going to. Also, Nook has changed a bit. Once you've changed to Nookington's, you find that um, Shampoo Door isn't in Nook's anymore. Instead, it's here in the city, and Harriet's still there. Now you can, um, only in the uh, hairdresser, you can, can you get the me masks. If you want to change them, go talk to her. So it's quite a long way to get to Harriet now. Finally, you know Katrina, I think? Uh, the one, another one in the tent, she tells your future. She's got her own place here as well. I'm not sure whether it's... Um, I'll just see. Yeah, Katrina. She's a bit more mysterious this time though. Um, if you want a um, charm or fortune, I think, either one of them, you get a little bash on the head. Also, you'll be wondering where I get the silver items from. You get silver items from different places. Uh, I'll just tell you that the silver shovel, you have to come to the city, it's about 8pm, and you see these cones. I'll go around there. If you get there at 8 o'clock and the cone's been moved and there's light in there, you can get in. You get to Rosetti and she gives you trouble. Okay, I'm going to have to stop that. Rate, comment, subscribe, visit the channel and 